Okay, so exciting news. It looks like our Starlink satellite has arrived um, with the router and all the cabling, I, I imagine, from uh, the literature that I've read. Um, so I've been signed up for the Starlink beta probably since May of 2020. So I've been looking forward to it ever since, you know, following SpaceX's launch as all the satellites, um, you know, just anticipating, you know, um, based on the advertised speeds, um, it's going to be dramatically different than what I have at the cottage already. Um, currently, I've been no better than like one megabyte per second, um, which is a little bit challenging. Um, so now with the new one, it should be, you know, Wi-Fi speeds that I even get in the city, which is going to be good. And then the uh, latency between 20 to 40 milliseconds is going to be amazing. Um, so like, uh, looks like uh, FedEx has dropped it off on the deck. So we're going to go outside and check it out, bring it inside, um, open up the box and see, uh, and see what's in there. Maybe do some measurements and then we'll see... Um, you know, what kind of a platform we need to build up on the roof to hook it to the uh, solar panels. I think that's the best location for it at this point. Uh, Starlink has a, an app that you look, use on your phone to uh, um, figure out, you know, where the satellite needs to look to, to um, and it looks in my area that I, it needs to point straight up. So, so looking forward to that. So uh, let's go out on the deck and see if there's something out there and we'll go from there. So super exciting news. Okay, there it is, our Starlink satellite. Quite a large box. What's that, Stewie? Do we have a satellite dish? That's exciting, eh? Okay, we're gonna get this inside and uh, open the box and see what kind of presents we have for Christmas inside. Okay, here we have our Starlink satellite inside, all ready to go, so we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Not so exciting. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Oh, first day with new scissors. Knife, or whatever we need. Okay, trying to do this without cutting ourselves. Okay, let's see what we have inside. Okay. First thing we have is uh, a sort of a map showing um, our Starlink satellite um, orientation, um, showing how it hooks to the power and to the Wi-Fi included router, and then how you uh, basically link it to your phone. So we'll use that in a little bit. So inside we have a plastic covering. And then we have the satellite dish, it looks like the stand, power supply, cabling, and the router. So, very well packaged. Um, yeah, everything's all shiny and brand new and uh, can't wait. So, let's uh, get a close-up of this and see where we're at. Okay, so close-up of the box. So, we have the Starlink um, satellite dish. We have the... Wi-Fi router it looks like, we have some cabling to the power supply, and then we have cabling to go up onto the roof or wherever you want to put the satellite dish, um, and then we have the actual satellite dish itself um, with its uh, mounting tripod and telescoping mount. Um, so I believe it's a flat face dish as well, So, but everything is really well packed and very um, space age looking, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, just uh, the first impressions are uh, really, really good, like shiny and uh, sort of cutting edge. So um, let's uh, get uh, some of the stuff out of here and we will um, sort of do some measurements. Okay, so here we have the the stand and then let's do some measurements on the stand and see where we're at with that um, so we can uh, figure out how big of a frame to build for this to sit on. Okay, so we have the cabling and the Wi-Fi router out of the box. Uh, first thing I noticed that I didn't um, actually pick up on originally is that everything is all connected inside the box. So kind of super user-friendly. Um, the power supply, the router, and even the satellite dish itself is all connected right out of the box. Okay, so if we look and see sort of how big we need to make it. Okay, so our our stand is actually pretty well constructed. So we have, we need it to be about 
21 inches or about 54 centimeters um, across. Um, so that'll make a, a pretty good um, stand for this. And then the satellite dish itself is going to be about, uh, if I was to measure quickly, it looks like we're going to be about 59, 58 centimeters, around 23, 22 inches. So let's get that out of the out of the box and see where we're at with that. Okay, so if we move this, oh. okay. So the satellite dish is actually it's um, really heavy, surprisingly. Um, it um, completely flat faced and it has a texture on the on the flat side um, sort of feels like a vinyl uh, over top of um, metal very very well defined edges um, yeah, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be um, yeah well wow. okay so let's uh, start construction on the stand that we need to put this on. We'll go up on the roof and we'll do a little bit of measuring and then we'll go from there. Probably have to get rid of some, some snow, um, but uh, um, we'll see where we're at. So can't wait to get this done, so here we go. Okay, so we have the uh, roof all shoveled off. Kind of a nice day uh, to be doing this, nice and sunny. It's been actually really cold for the last three or four days. So couldn't pick a better time for Starling to have delivered the satellite dish. So let's go up on the roof and uh, we'll survey the situation and uh, and uh, see where we're going to place it. And then do the uh, Starlink app to see um, um, and make sure there's no obstructions. Um, on Their app actually, like I said, has a visible um, view of the sky uh, from the outlook of the satellite dish. So let's go up on the roof and uh, we will go from there. All right, like I said, it's a beautiful day. Lake is frozen, sun is out, I got the snow shoveled, so just beautiful. Okay, so this is where we're going to put the satellite dish. Uh, probably build a platform about 36 inches, 36 inches out from the base of the um, solar panels and uh, maybe have it about 12 inches up. So it looks like the solar panels, I made them about 50, 50 inches wide, if we use inches. And uh, maybe, like I said, we'll have it about 12 inches high because there's a, a very small pole for the satellite um, Starlink system. So yeah, we'll go from there and then uh, we'll do the uh, Starlink app to have a look at the sky and we'll go from there. Okay, so there's the uh, Starlink app that I was talking about. Um, so basically what it's doing is it's asking me to point up. So if we look up, we can see that um, the actual sky view that the satellite is actually going to see so if I look straight up, this is kind of exactly the orientation that the satellite's going to take. So I think that's a, I think that's a really, a really good, yeah, so there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to work out fine for us, I think. Okay. Okay, so now we've taken our measurements up on the roof, and now we're going to build um, just a small little deck structure for the satellite dish and take it up on the roof and uh, start the process with that. So maybe we'll just move to a time lapse now. Okay, so we have our platform built. I was going to do a time lapse, but my battery kept dying. So I decided that we would just have it poof, done. So now I've got um, a deck structure, um, you know, basically set up. So it'll hook to the uh, existing setup on the roof that I have for some solar panels. There's the Starlink aluminum mount sitting there. So um, it's attached already. And uh, the satellite will attach, obviously, to that. So let's go up on the roof and get this all set up. And uh, we're on our way again. Okay, so we've got our stand all built. Um, we've got the satellite dish up on the roof. Um, beautiful, beautiful night. Um, evening. So uh, sunset is happening. So it's just a, mud, uh, a bit of, a bit of um, cabling we have to do. So here is the satellite dish so it's sitting on the stand and uh, they're electronic so they um, will actually orient in themselves automatically uh, so powered which is kind of a neat thing and like I said it has a snow removal as well because it's probably going to be sitting straight up and down so there's the aluminum stand so all in all it's pretty amazing setup um, high quality so in just a matter of now setting up the wiring and then uh, hooking up the router and we should have internet as soon as it finds some satellites. 
Okay, so we have the satellite dish on the roof now. We got the um, the stand um, actually set up, which was a little bit heavy getting up the ladder, but that's uh, my fault for making it so stout, I guess you could say. And uh, the cabling's all done, and uh, the Wi-Fi router is all set up. So um, basically, the satellite dish is just oriented itself. So if we look at it, so basically what it's done is it's gone from from uh, from horizontal um, to vertical, and then back to horizontal. And then what it's happening is it's um, now just sort of oriented a little bit to the north, I guess you could say. Um, so it's sitting on the stand that I built attached to the solar panels. I didn't expect that it was going to tilt itself like that. It actually just did that a couple of minutes ago. But as you can see, it's, you know, with its aluminum frame and it's uh, actually quite a nice looking unit. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll look and see what kind of connection speeds we have. Um, just as an FYI, when I checked just a second ago on the app that Starlink has for the your, uh, phone, I'm using an iPhone, um, I was getting up to 160 megabytes per second, which was unbelievable. Um, you know, considering that the other satellite coverage that I had was um, less than one megabyte per second, that's crazy. And milliseconds were anywhere between 35 and 45. So let's uh, basically have a look and see and uh, get the app started up and we'll go from there. Okay, so everything's all set up like I said, so let's check and see um, what the Starlink satellite says for speed. So let's have a look here. Okay, so we're running a speed test. So currently we are basically getting 160 megabytes per second, which is crazy. Um, that is super amazing speed. Like, I am so happy with this Starlink satellite system. Um, like, I would recommend it to anyone. It's so easy to set up. It's all assembled in the box, like you could see. Um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's uh, a great um, user interface. You can see everything. You can go through statistics on the app. You can see the ping rates. You can see if the downtime, if it's missing a satellite, which hasn't really happened yet. Um, it's you know everything is is very very professional so I would recommend this to anyone especially speeds like 160 megabytes per second is unheard of like uh, you know you don't even get that within major cities is broadband application so you know the like Starlink like this is a great great thing and I think it's because the satellites are um, so low in orbit that the ping rates are are so quick so you know this is an experience that I think is going to bring the internet to the world so you know, I sound like um, I sound like a Starlink fanboy, but you know it's um, it's it, it's exceeded my expectations more than I could have, have dreamed of. So I would recommend this to anyone. So so thanks for watching the video, and um, you know hopefully uh, the beta will be opened up to other people at different latitudes other than my 50.01. So thanks a lot.